Hi, Dave. Hi, you must be Anne. Thanks for waiting for me. I'm Steph. So, my staff have filled me in. They said you came in looking for your husband. Excuse me, have you seen my husband? He's tall, dark hair. I think my husband was in here last night. Were you in here last night? Yes. Your staff gave me a number to call, but I don't understand. I don't have a problem. I need you to stop my husband gambling. I'd love to help, but there's not much I can do. You have the number. That's the best place to start. I told you, I don't have the problem. He does. And you need to make him stop. She's obviously upset and looking for someone to talk to. I need to show a little more care. Look, I can see you're upset. Maybe we can get to the bottom of your husband's gambling. Let's start at the beginning. My husband lost his job. I've been working extra shifts. I noticed money missing from our savings account. I don't know what to do. Do I leave him? I don't know. Hang on. I'm getting in way over my head. I don't have the skills to give her the support she needs. I want to acknowledge her feelings, but need to remember I'm here to provide her with the right kind of help. I'm sorry you're going through a hard time with your husband's gambling. There are a few options for you to consider. The Gambling Helpline is free and a great place to start, as it isn't just for gamblers. They're here to help you just as much as they're here to help your husband. Oh, I didn't know that. You could also check out the Gambling Help Queensland website. Now, in terms of what the venue can do next, we could consider banning your husband, but it would depend on the circumstances. Self-exclusion and active monitoring are other options that might be helpful. If he's interested, I can meet with him. It might help for her to speak to a gambling helpline counsellor. I should offer her a phone here. Why don't you call the helpline right now? I can find you somewhere private. I'm sure they'll be able to help. <laughs> 